The Intel Science Talent Search is a science competition for seniors in high school. Everybody who does science fair knows that STS is kind of the end goal. Well, it's a competition, but it's so much more than that. So it's looking for the, the brightest young minds in our country. When I first found out that I was an Intel STS finalist, my first reaction was shock. Well, I actually missed the initial call. And they told me that it was Society for Science and the Public. I was like just jumping around, just hopping around all over the place. And I asked them if I was dreaming, but they said I wasn't. <laughs> it was incredible to me that the work that I put in was actually being recognized, that, you know, that it was worth something. There's something unique about each and every one of them. Uh, they're extremely interesting. Everyone is so unique and talented. It's really fun to be able to talk to them about science and math and their projects. Being able to talk nerdy and talk about science things with a lot of like-minded people. Meeting all the other finalists, um, talking about their projects. We have this amazing quad, which is like a great space to meet everyone. And there's like a giant chessboard. It's nice to have somewhere where everyone can just go. And it's a lot of games, I love games. Getting to know people from New York and California and like Idaho. Everyone is really enthusiastic about what they do. Just the opportunity to connect with all sorts of other students really interested in just STEM. It's just a really fun experience to be around people who enjoy a subject as much as you do. Building the network that we have is I think more valuable than any prize that we're trying to win here. Tonight at this gala, we're welcoming over 1,200 people to celebrate our 75th anniversary. I think that just attests to the prestige and to the integrity of this, of this program. The fact that kids like 75 years ago were going through the same things and that, that we're going through had the same rigorous judging process that we're going through. In a world where so much is changing, the fact that a program like this lasts for that long and at such high a caliber is really a testament to how well the event is carried out. Intel has been proud to sponsor STS since 1998 and we are really excited that we for the first time have more young women finalists than we do young men. I think the goal of Intel SCS is not how great your research is, but how great of a scientist you can become. They seemed interested in really like looking at the scientists behind the project and really trying to understand how we think. Our judges are so amazing and I'm just so grateful to be able to like talk to them. I think one of the most exciting parts about Intel SCS is Public Day. I'm excited to meet all the people and like talking to the judges. Good opportunity for me to show what I've spent a lot of time researching. And that love for showing what they've done, that problem they've tried to solve. My project is a computational drug design tool that helps to sort of predict the activation state of a drug in complex with a protein. I worked on optimizing a cancer vaccine for glioblastoma. I studied how different environmental factors may influence an amphibian's ability to protect itself. I researched a type of material called transparent conductors, which are used in many different electronic devices. It's a pulmonary function analyzer that can be used to diagnose five respiratory illnesses. I essentially developed a statistical model to study how neurons help the brain make complex decisions. My research concerns the field of mathematical homotopy theory. This week of knowledge, it seems like even by being here and not saying anything, I could learn an incredible amount. I think one of the coolest things about science is sharing it with other people and kind of connecting the dots between different tangents. I think the thing that draws me like most to STEM is like the sense of possibility. I think of science as a way of understanding the world around us. My advice to young scientists would be to grab opportunities. Don't be afraid to do something different. Always be creative and always keep an open mind. I think the most important thing is to just like enjoy what you do because you really just can't force it. It's very valuable to find something that you can actually catch on to and enjoy learning about. Concentrate on learning as much as you can about whatever interests you because at the end of the day, you should really do something you love. Don't stifle yourself because you think that it's not cool to be a scientist because it is. It really is. Never be afraid just because you're in high school that you think you can't solve that problem. Take my idea and like transform it into something tangible that can like impact lives on like a global scale. These 40 finalists are our future leaders. We're counting on them to make the world a better place.